The meteoric growth in popularity of fight sports over the last 30 years is a testament to the men who took the sport into the future and claimed their spots as the founding fathers of full contact martial arts. There was a time, not long ago, when martial arts fighting meant a controlled bare knuckle bout, accompanied by lingering fears that uncontrolled blows would lead to widespread death in the ring. In this critical time when martial arts sports were in their infancy, one man championed the cause of full contact, Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis had dominated the current point system, but had become increasingly frustrated by losses coming at the hands of poor or partisan judges. His passion for progress led to an event that would forever change the course of history for athletes involved in ring sports. Joe Lewis began his martial arts training as a Marine stationed in Okinawa. His early instructors were John Koreb and Izio Shimbaku and they could see right away that Lewis was not an ordinary student by any stretch of the imagination. When other soldiers went to bed, Lewis would train for hours by himself in a closet. His fierce determination and hard work led him to receive his black belt in only seven months. Upon returning to the States, Lewis was enthusiastic about continuing his martial arts journey. In 1966, he attended his first tournament. Not intending to compete, he was convinced by the promoter of the event to throw his hat in the ring. That tournament was the U.S. Nationals, one of the biggest tournaments in the country, and the promoter was Grandmaster Jun Ree. He dominated the field that day, not only in fighting, but he also was awarded the Grand Championship in Kata. That day began a storied fight career that had Lewis fighting and besting the current greats of the sport. His relentless pursuit of greatness and endless development led him to train with the best martial artists and boxing trainers. His first boxing coach was world champion welterweight boxer Sugar Ray Robinson, and he worked extensively with ring veteran Joe Orbito. He trained with such martial arts luminaries as Howard Jackson, and Bruce Lee. As Lewis continued to win big in the tournaments, the accolades began rolling in. Lewis was the first karate competitor featured on the cover of Black Belt magazine. But even as the competition world embraced him as a phenomenal athlete and champion, Lewis was discontented with the pace of progress and development in the sport. So many participants clung fast to traditions in the status quo. Lewis was more interested in taking the sport and the arts forward. In the future he envisioned, spectators would embrace the martial arts sports the way they embraced boxing, and the skills would grow beyond the old hand-me-down methods evolving into tried and true techniques that were refined and perfected then could be confidently used against even the best opponents. This laser-like focus on developing the very best martial arts techniques, strategies, and training methodologies has been a constant theme throughout Joe Lewis's career. And as the skills develop, Lewis felt the need for the competition to advance as well. As early as 1968, Lewis began trying to put together a match that would allow the fighters to fight to a knockout. On January 17, 1970, that dream became a reality when promoter Lee Faulkner agreed to let Lewis fight a full contact match as the main event of the first U.S. Pro Team Championship at the Long Beach Sport Arena. The opponent was the very tough Greg Baines, who through his recent conversion to Islam had changed his name to Ohm. Lewis entered the ring very lean and muscular. He was training with Bruce Lee at the time, and in his corner was American karate pioneer Jim Harrison. Lewis came out with movement that had him light on his feet and displaying Bruce Lee's trait of fighting power side forward. The very powerful Ohm fired heavy leather with each blow a potential knockout. In the second round, the two fighters clashed. On the official film, the referee stepped in front of the camera. 
The next thing seen on camera was Ohm reeling from a devastating blow, out on his feet. Lewis's follow-up blows were superfluous. The first full contact match was already over. The historic first knockout was forever lost to history. Until now. Lewis's good friend Walt Bone was in the audience that night with his trusty 8mm camera. Few people in the world have seen this footage of the knockout that launched the full contact era in martial arts sports. This unobstructed shot shows Lewis doubling up on his right hand with a devastating shot to Ohm's jaw. Ohm wobbled and seemed to fall out of range of Lewis's follow-up blows, he was already out on his feet. That spectacular knockout officially launched the era of full contact martial arts. In the following years, the sport's rapid growth internationally led to the first World Professional Full Contact Championships in 1974. At this event, Joe Lewis, along with Jeff Smith and Bill Wallace, claimed their places as the founding fathers of full contact martial arts. 